All right, today's the day we're gonna attempt to move the base of the wells index into the basement through that bulkhead. Plan is, I've got two sheets of plywood that I scrounged, uh, one of which I had originally cut to the width of the, the stairwell, and then the uh, other one I just scrounged just now, so it's a little narrow, but better than having nothing on there. And of course, it's gonna be supported by the stair treads every approximately 12 inches or so. So that'll give it some strength. The uh, At the bottom there, I've got two boards that are set at the uh, last stair tread to cross the threshold into the basement. I'm trying to avoid the problem I had moving the Hendy lathe in, which uh, ended up causing damage to the Hendy, where I got it down near the end and then in an attempt to try and get it over the threshold I put it up on blocking, it fell off the blocking and cracked the foot. That's another story. Alright, so the plan is we're going to use the Oliver loader and we're going to lift that thing up and we're going to bring it in here very carefully and get it over that opening. Now, I've got my rig already set up as far as my strap It's going to go through there. First thing I got to do is I got to turn it around because right now it's facing the wrong way. I need the back to go to be facing outside the stairwell so that as the bottom kicks out the back will want to lay it will want to lay on its back and slide down on its back as soon as that happens the weight will be greatly reduced the forces will be greatly reduced on the, the downward forces on this plywood and uh, then it's going to be just a matter of keeping the uh, keeping the thing under control so that it has a slow descent. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a chain fall. My problem is, this is my chain fall here. My chain fall is only rated for one ton. And one ton is approximately 2,000 pounds. We don't know the exact weight on the uh, base. Um, I've heard some estimates on the weights of the entire mill, but then when you take the knee and the table and the head and the ram and the turret off like I did, you, you shed a lot of that weight. I did hear, uh, I did watch one video of a guy moving his Wells Index Mill, and he was claiming that even that right there is still 2,800 pounds. If that's true, I'll be over the limit on my uh, chain fall, which is not good. When the most stresses are on this thing is actually when I'm moving it into position, when I'm rolling over here with the tractor. Because as we know, those of you who have been following my my work on the Oliver, the Oliver, we did some work on the shuttle shift mechanism, but it's still a little dicey and the brakes are still completely shot. So we've got this problem where if it starts rolling forward, I have to throw it into reverse to to arrest the forward momentum and, and and what ends up happening there is then that starts a swinging thing going on and we don't want that because that sw a swinging a dead weight's one thing a swinging weight puts more force on the chains so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm thinking I'm gonna use my heavier chain to lift and get the thing into position and once I've got it into position over the opening and I've actually loaded a little bit so that some of the weight is being transferred to my ramp. At that point, I think I'll hook the come along on and take some of the tension off the chain, unhook my big chain, and then use the come along to slowly inch it down the stairs. First things first, I've got to turn that thing around and I'm not going to bother videoing that because I don't know how much room is left on this card and I really don't want to have to stop and transfer a video off of the video card. Alright, so I've sort of lined up and um, I've already got one problem and that's that the uh, my attachment point here is causing the mill to want to continue to swing swivel back this way. In other words, I want this to be facing here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, I think if I lower, I take the tension off, I think if I 
get my strap made to come back here more. Although that's just going to want to pop over that way, isn't it? I don't know. Try that. I get my strap. Actually, this sharp edge on the turret right here, where the turret rides, is kind of causing a little bit of abrasion on that strap too, so not a bad idea. Anyways, all right, so here's what I'm thinking. If, I, if the tension gets taken up, maybe it won't pop over this. I've got the rear stabilizer for the backhoe. I've got one of them down, digging into the ground as a uh, parking brake. Got some other problems here I don't want to work out. Right now I've got uh, my sling, lifting sling, is rated for 6,100 pounds and it's got some abrasion on it which will alter its strength. Um, then I've got this chain, okay, so my weak point right now is actually this bolt right here. I've got this chain loop through and this bolt. If this, this is putting force on the threads of this nut. If this were to fail, it would drop violently. The other weak point, and so far it hasn't proven to be very weak, is this weld up here. Don't know how good that weld is. Although, this is the machine that lifted the entire mill off of the back of the pickup truck, complete with the table, knee, and everything. So, I don't think that's but if I recall correctly, I think I did have some insurance straps or things on there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get my other chain. That'll, that chain will act as some insurance because that chain is hooked to the loader, not to the ring that's welded onto the loader. Kit's way over there, and the mill's way over here, and the tractor's back there. So what I'm going to do is some baby steps. Just going to get a little edge, a little bit closer, and I've got some lumber down there that uh, hopefully I can hit with the wheels to arrest any forward momentum if I have to. The other thing I can always do is I can drop the loader down and let the mill hit the ground, and the uh, chains are short enough that it'll act as a brake.
All right, on this next lift, it should swing up onto the uh, foot of the bulkhead. I think I just ran out of diesel. It's not a good time going out of fuel. 